G'day guys, Jacko here, AYC Fishing, with Bruce and Cuz. Another wrap up video for Burringer, round one of the Garmin Freshwater Series. Just completed Sunday Arvo, we're just giving all the prizes out and, and whatnot. Found out who won, so we thought we'd sit down and have a bit of a chat about what went down over the weekend. Uh, Brucey, I'll start with you. How was it? Mate, it was tough. It was a it was a tough event on Saturday. We we headed we took everyone everyone took off at about seven o'clock in the pouring rain. Yeah. Freezing cold. How <laughs> this place it gets bloody cold. Oh, it throws some doozy weather up. It was it was windy, very windy, first thing, and then we let them go and it just started absolutely pelting down, didn't it? Yeah, we just snuck up and grabbed another couple of coffees and took our time getting out there measuring fish. Yeah, but, yeah, we didn't get wet. And no. a, lot of, a lot of people were, they just didn't have the right gear, did they? they they're coming back, grabbing more clothes and yeah. heading back out again. But it was tough fishing, but it was it was good. Yeah. It was good. Because you were fishing this weekend, what was it like that start yesterday morning in the rain? Mate, yeah, it was tough. It was... Um, yeah, as you said, it was cold, it was wet, and um, it was all fish in the middle of June. Actually, it was it was freezing, and and the fish weren't biting, which wasn't helping. They were, they were real slow to get started, so yeah, it was tough. And what happened to your partner? My partner, the cold got him, and he had to resign for the day. So um, <laughs> yeah, no, he went back and rolled the swag out and had a quick camp, I think. So um, he came good in the afternoon, but the morning beat him. Yeah, I think that cold cold weather, people just weren't set up for it. Didn't have the right wet weather kit and. Once you got wet, there was no getting warm after that. So yeah. you got to have the right gear. Mm, you do. You got to you got to spend the money and get the right the right wet weather gear. And, and I've been guilty of that in the past too. But no, it was a good weekend. The fish, fishing was a bit tough. Yeah, I think um, 110 fish all up for the weekend between 38 teams. So definitely not going off. There was two teams um, outback angler, the guys that won it. And Chase and Tail, they were the only two teams who got their 10 fish for the weekend. Um, and Finney come in th third with nine fish. They'll be the boys to beat all you two, them three. They're, they're sort of the top the top yep. three dudes, and they'll, they'll always be up there. So, um, yeah, it's not, not tough for them, usually. Yeah, no, they, there's something about those guys that just they just know how to catch fish, and they just yep. uh, just seem to be that step above a lot of the other guys. You know, a lot of the other guys, they'll they'll come and have their good rounds and bad rounds, but those guys are just so And consistent. Finney, who come in, come in third, he's, he, like, he won our grand final, so he's showing a, a, a bit of good form. He's got his confidence back up again. He dominated a few years ago. Um, uh, team Scrub Boys, but, yeah, they yeah, everyone's sort of going well. Yeah, everyone has their time. Cuz, yep. you finished six over the weekend. How'd you do it? Yeah, six for us. Well, we weren't weren't too disappointed with that. It was all right. I'm um, just rolling trees, same as everyone else, just up and down on the live scope, trying to keep an eye on them. We're finding the ones that we we could see we couldn't catch, to be honest. And then we had roll it a few times, and a few more fish would appear in there, the ones we sort of caught. So um, it was bizarre. That was that was the sort of trick we found. We didn't catch a bag in the end, but um, yeah, that's that's how it was. Yeah, six place is pretty good going, but I think how many fish? Six fish. For six yeah, place? six fish. Yeah, yeah. So I think it went. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6. So. Yeah, it was tough. Normally we get, you get 10 or 15 teams that definitely got their bag and upgrading, but mm. it wasn't, they were lucky to get their bags yeah, this weekend. But it's the same for everybody. That's the way that yeah. the comp is. Like, it's good when it's a bit tough, so. Yeah, um, that's fishing. It's less work for us to do, mate. Yeah, we don't have to check as many fish, but we'd, we'd love for everyone to be out there smashing them all yep. the time. But unfortunately, we, we try to put the events this year on the, when we thought the best bite would be. Yeah. You know, Burrenjuk traditionally fishes really well in March, but the fish just haven't come to the party this time round. I think the rain's caused a bit of an upset there with that. Like, just for, for the fish, obviously, everyone else is enjoying the rain, and, and it's good to see the dam coming up, but I think it's done something to the fishing for sure. So most of the guys were using spin gear. Most of the fish were caught uh, vertically up and down trees. The guys that were hitting the edges, thinking of that, that water that was coming in, the fish would move onto the edges. They weren't there. Mm. Um, so it was mostly vertical up and down trees uh, on spin gear, 10 pound, 8 pound litre, that sort of stuff. So they're all fishing pretty light yep. and just grinding it out. Yeah, it seems like everyone was doing the same thing. I didn't really hear of a fish that didn't come on on a, some coloured gulp, three inch minnow. So yeah, everyone's doing the same thing. Unfortunately, nothing, nothing else really worked, but uh, we move on now. We've got three more rounds of the Freshwater Series. If you didn't fish this round, guys, you can still fish the final three rounds and you can still make the grand final. The grand final is going to be the top 20 teams throughout the year. 
Uh, next round is three weeks away, Glenbourne. It's going to be a bass to round. Mm. So just targeting bass this time at Glenbourne. Should be good. Um, should be should be a good time of year to be at Glenbourne. Should be a bit of a transition phase. A lot of different stuff should work. So it won't be everyone throw, dropping down gulp vertical. It should be, should be a bit different. Um, cars, you going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there. Yep, for sure. Chipping away again. What What do you reckon the fish will be doing? Yeah, I really got no idea to be honest. I wouldn't know where to start. I'll have to go up there and have a bit of a look. But I'd, I'd nearly say deep. They're going to be deep and it'd be really the same sort of thing. But you reckon? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. See, some guys are saying deep, and then uh, other guys are saying jerk baits. Yeah. Uh, plastic well, to the I edges. So. Jerk baits on the edges, but yeah. We'll, yeah. Uh, we'll have to get there and have a look and see, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, we haven't spent a lot of time. With the bass, years ago we did, but we haven't mm. been back there a lot, so we're just starting to get back into the bass scene again. So it should be good. Looking forward. I love love Glenbourne, great venue, good facilities. Um, and getting back to the grand final thing, you don't. Uh, a lot of teams, um, a lot of people think they have to fish these comps to qualify for a grand final, but you don't. You can just do one or two events and just have some fun, mm. or you can chase the point score and, and fish for the ten thousand dollar grand final. So. Yeah, it goes both ways. Like a lot of people think that AYC comps are ultra competitive and you've got to be some great angle to be involved with them but it's nothing like that there's a lot of families kids um lady anglers that get out there and just have a bit of fun it's not it's not just about catching the fish i reckon if you went around and asked 95 percent of the competitors at these comps it's not about the competitive side of the fishing it's uh, more about catching up with their mates having a few yep. beers around camp and just having a good time on the weekends but it know. is it you know it, and the other side of it, it is good to be competitive. It is yeah. good to have those competitive anglers there in the top end. They always yeah. are competitors, but a friendly rival, rivalry, you yeah. know, they're, um, they all have a bit of fun with each other and respect each other. Um, and and the, a lot of the guys who are coming into it learn a lot from those guys as well. Everyone seems to help each other out here in the bush. So Yeah, well, that's uh, a good um, thing about having those guys that are really competitive and, mm. and always up there. They. They don't hold back, they always tell people how they're doing it, try and help other people get onto fish because that's that's the aim mm. of the, the they, whole comps. And they, you know, yeah. no one cares if you're in a, a 12 foot tinny with a 15 horsepower motor and no electric, no sand, or you know, you're, you're fishing with a $100,000 bass boat, yeah. no one cares. Yeah, 100%. Well, we might wrap this one up. Um, another great round, you know, tough fishing, but you know, we had everything with the weather. We had rain, we had wind. Today's an absolute ripper. Mm. Uh, we had the Makos on early as and- Friday you know, was the, good. Yeah, Friday pre-fish Friday's was good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, any any last words, Cuz? No, all good. I'll yeah. see you at Glenbourne. Yeah, yeah bring looking on. forward to it. Bring Glenbourne on. Let's do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Very good. They're just getting easier, aren't they? Oh, mate, just fucking off the tongue. <clears throat> I was talking that quick. I was that I nearly I had to yeah, swallow. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna look for the D.